ever wondered what an icor is? Been searching the net and nothing? Then you saw that thumbnail with a big red colored font saying icor guide. Well, you found it, bruh. Congrats. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys and gals all about icors, what they are, where to get them, and how do you use them. And with that out of the way, this is Jamie Hardcore's Tree of Savior Icor Guide. Let's do this. Okay, what's an Icor? An Icor is an item that strengthens your equipment. It adds more stats and additional effect to your armors and weapons. This is what it looks like. Now, an Icor has two kinds. A random stat Icor and a fixed stat Icor. Now, a fixed stat Icor is an Icor that you can get on unique grade equipments level 350 above. And as you all know, a unique grade equipment has a permanent stat and usually an additional effect that comes with it. Here is a few examples of unique grade equipment. You can get this unique grade equipment on unique raid dungeons. Except the unique grade Vibora equipments. You can get them in challenge mode. Now, a random stat Icor is an Icor that you can get, or should I say, extract from a Primus equipment level 350 above. They get a random stat name because Primus equipment has random stat in it. So when you get the stat or extract the stats from a Primus gear, you can get a random stat Icor. This item. Now, you can get it by doing a normal extraction, which is one of the way to extract an Icor. You can do it here in this NPC and hit Extract Icor. Okay, let's say you want this stat from this Primus equipment or this fixed stat from a unique grade equipment. You want to turn it into a random stat or a fixed stat Icor. What you need to do is go here and hit Extract Icor and a menu will appear. Just put your desired equipment there and it will require you to get a few items. Namely, a bunch of Shiera Powder. The amount differs depending on what level of equipment you're extracting. Then an Icor Extraction Kit, which can be bought in this same NPC. There are also other optional requirements you can use like this Silver Extraction Kit, this item. When you use this, you don't need Sierra Powders. It's just it. You can get this in a lot of places, mainly events. Gem Fuel, if I'm correct, the Cash Shop, and more. But don't worry, you don't really need this because Sierra Powders are cheap. But if you have Silver Extraction Kit, might as well use it. Aside from Silver Extraction Kit, there's also Gold Extraction Kit which can only be used when the Primus equipment you're extracting has zero potential. Yes, you can't use Silver Extraction Kit on zero potential equipments. And by the way, extracting an I-Core is not 100%. You can fail. And every time you fail, you lose one potential on the equipment you're extracting. Most equipment has about 10 potential, give or take, meaning you can only attempt 10 times, give or take. But all is not lost even if your equipment has zero potential. Because there's another way to extract an I-Core called I-Core Transmutation. But before we touch on that, let's talk more about random and fixed stat icor first. Let's say you succeeded on extracting a random stat icor and you're ready to equip it to your weapon or armor. And by the way, you can only equip a random stat icor on a legend grid set without a random stat to begin with. Like for example, a Velcofer set and a Varna set. As you can see, both of them has no stat to begin with, meaning you can put a random stat Icor and a fixed stat Icor on them. There are also legend grade equipments with random stat to begin with like a Savinose legend grade set which can be obtained here in the same NPC. Those Savinose weapons and armors has random stat built in it 
Because of that, you don't need a random stat I core if you have a Savinose Legend Grade equipment. Anyway, you can equip the I core here in Fedimian in the same NPC, and your equipment will probably look like this. Okay, the random stat and fixed stat I core should be good. Just ask in the comment section down below if I missed something. Now let's talk about I core transmutation. Now this way of extracting I-Core is a bit tricky because this way requires you to have two extractable equipment. It can be a Primus or a unique grade equipment. And the more potential those two items has, the more chances the extraction will be a success. The problem is the extracted equipment might not be the one you want extracted because it could be the other one or the other one it's random you can remedy this by using two of the same unique grade equipment but it might be hard to do it with a random stat equipment because good luck finding two identical random stat equipment that you want <laughs> here is an example of a transmutation potential success rate here is a combination of equipment with both full potential and the success rate is 100 percent and here is a combination of equipment, one with zero potential and the other has full potential. And the success rate is 50%. And that's iCores. I hope this is enough. And if you have any more questions, just comment on the section down below. And if you like the video, hit the like button, share, and subscribe if you want more of this kind of stuff. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.